Hi guys. Wanted to share a couple of thoughts of mine from today. The Creator, he created a world that is uh, based on rules, honest and truthful rules of the Torah, of the Bible. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, and on. And there is a heavenly justice that is taking place in the world. And the world is very complicated and very, very deep and large and wide. Way too big for us to understand it all and to realize how judgment works and how justice comes out to the light. And we do believe in the truthfulness of the Torah and the rules of, of it, but there is this line, this amazing border that we're crossing on a daily basis when the rules and judgments are attacking us. And when we are violating codes and rules, we're finding ourselves also under those constrictions and judgments and pain and difficulties and punishments even to our eyes. Now the main issue is that it's written that the Creator is being very, very strict with the righteous ones and very, very precise in the judgments for those ones who are trying to come closer and closer to Him. Those are the truthful and righteous and pure-hearted ones. And in that point, it becomes very, very hard for us when we see that we are being punished sometimes even more than those ones who their heart is not even in the direction of doing good and being honest and close to the truth and to God. And, and that puts us in a, in a very difficult place. So my heart is telling me that my problem with that judgment is not that we refuse to be punished or that we don't want to suffer for the sin or the crimes of our actions, the evil and wrong things that we do. We would be very happy to be able to pay back and to take full responsibility. Just that the verse is saying, En tzadik asher yaseh, en tzadik ba'aretz asher yaseh tov ve'lo yechta. There cannot be a righteous man who will walk on earth that will do only good and not gonna sin. Moses sinned, sinned, Abraham sinned, King David sinned. Everyone messed up, at least once in their lifetimes, everyone, every single one. And therefore, we must go through this hell. And when we go through that hell of punishments and judgments and pain, we need to find a better advice than just to accept it on ourselves because really we don't want to accept it on ourselves. We want to make a change because we believe that God, He really wants us to rise and to shine and to get into a place of happiness and prosperity and success, true spiritual success. What well, I want to say, to make a long story short, is that it's true that we have been created and been sent down to earth to this physical world under the system of rules and judgments. But our hearts, our heart belong elsewhere and is a real heavenly heart. And therefore we are refusing to be consumed and, and forced into this system of rules and obligations and punishments and judgments and we desire freedom and freedom is what we are worthy 
to enjoy of and we belong in that world of prosperity and therefore we should not surrender to this heavenly court that is keep on punishing us for our sins and with all that respect that we have to the Creator and the Torah and the rules and that we are accepting on ourselves the yoke of heaven and we are doing the best always that we can. We also remember that our souls are coming from elsewhere, from a heavenly place that is above all judgments and all rules and only good and pleasant and love belongs in that place. And to that place we desire and to that place we hope and our hearts are aimed to that place of ultimate freedom and satisfaction, unity and love to all. And we're refusing to be part of this world. We're refusing to surrender to the system and to the matrix of creation. And we are going to win it and we're going to break the curtains of physicality and going to reveal the free and endless, eternal, unconditional love of the Creator to us, that we are one with Him in spirit, and the freedom and happiness will overcome and overpower all forces of darkness and redemption to our souls and freedom to our spirits will take place. Amen.